Oh shit. Here we go again. Another one. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. I hope you enjoyed the speedrun of Epitaph Prime versus level 9999, or known as Level Cup in Warframe. Now, I want you to know that the run was uh, without a uh, pistol amp or arcane precision or arcane velocity, it was the weapon roll. Now, Epitaph uh, primarily proking cold. Now, with the secondary encumber arcane, it makes this weapon really insane. As we all know, Epitaph is the best weapon when it comes to priming, to use condition of load, or to put a lot of status effects in the target. But now, mainly, I want us to focus on Epitaph and not what it's capable of. Now, let's start. And here we are with the build. Starting first with the unique trait. 20% headshot damage when wielded by Sabagoth. You need to keep that in mind. This build is the only build you will need. All you have to do is switch couple of mods depends on your needs. Alright, so what you want to do here, you're going to be starting with Frostbite as it's going to be a uh, viral build first and then I'm going to show you how you build it differently. Governor's Diffusion for multi-shot, Ornate Strike for damage, Pistol Pestilence for Toxin, Lethal Turret for fire rate and multi-shot, Galvanized Shot for uh, statue chance and direct damage, Ogre Seeker for statue duration and this mod is a blessing to Epitaph or any priming weapon. Scorch for heat and statue chance, Primate Pistol Ammo Mutation, Secondary Encumber the best arcane when it comes to priming weapons, on statue effect 24% chance to trigger a second random statue effect. This is insane. So the weapon will be running a slash uh, puncture and impact uh, as a start, then heat viral uh, and blast and cold. Of course, the weapon is mainly a cold weapon. All right. So since we are viral, I will not use nourish. We we'll keep nourish uh, for the juicy and the cherry on top of the cake. Let's go. So we just hit the enemies. As you can see, it's really, really amazing and uh, powerful when it comes to proking stats of the enemy. Now the reason you want to prime enemies, condition of load, putting a lot of statues in there and so on, you want them of course to be uh, prime. Now what you want to do then, you want to just use your uh, charge shot and just give them a very powerful shot and take them down. Now this is one way to play it. The other way all you have to do is change one mod which is uh, the frostbite. Then we're gonna equip uh, Jolt and all of a sudden the weapon turn into a corrosive what corrosive does the corrosive temporarily remove up to 80 percent of the target's armor value with multiple stacks combining toxin and electricity and the heat will be right there okay so imagine armor stripping these enemies now what's mainly happening when you armor strip enemy isn't the armor reduction that we care about is the damage reduction of those enemies that goes down with armor stripping so to armor strip enemies we're going to be using two emerald dark on charts so we push the stacks of corrosive from 10 to 14 so we don't rely on any helmet ability or focus school to armor strip then we're going to be using nourish to proc viral since epitaph will not be modded for viral and we want viral to do more damage to enemies uh, hp so we got corrosive to armor strip we got uh, nourish uh, for viral uh, and God be with these enemies. Uh, so, check this out. Let's take it for a sec. Look, they're gonna be stuck. Okay, here we go. Armor strip. Now, activating Nourish. 
now things get uh, better. Look at that. I mean, there is no enemy who can stand this. Really, like, oh. it will take a second to kill them because remember, this is a priming weapon, and I'm using the priming uh, fire for this. Now let's say this guy. Okay, I'm gonna prime him. There you go. He's dead. Got it because this is a galvanized build. Remember that. Okay, let's summon more enemies since these are very few. Okay, let's go. 20. Give me 20. So that's pulling Nautilus. And Nautilus Prime build will come uh, to the channel today as well. Okay, let's say this guy is primed and then I want to just hit it in the head. There you go. Boom. 4 million. Maybe 4 million. We don't joke around here. There you go. 1 million. Now, you understand how you can go with Epitaph, all you have to do is change one mod and you change the weapon play style. So if you want to go offensive, go corrosive with the uh, Nourish uh, for Viral. And then if you want to go like priming and stuff like that, just uh, use uh, Viral in your weapon and secondary encumber will do the rest. And by this we reached the end of the video, I really hope you enjoyed. And remember I didn't use any pistol aura or arcane velocity or arcane precision, the weapon was raw. And also remember that this weapon is mainly made for priming. You can use it to kill because the power of secondary encumber. If you want you can go with secondary deadhead, really good if you're planning on making it for crit or some. Play around with it. The polarities that I did for you guys is made from my previous epitaph build. So you can build it for create if you want. You can do a lot of crazy things and the polarity will not fail you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, sub and join our Discord link in the description. And I'll see you guys uh, next time. I am not a king. I am not a god. I am a king.